Hello guys, Jackie here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use the densitometer. So densitometer is a tool that we use to take the photo of the SDS page gel uh, so that you can use it in your thesis or you know to present your data or whatever. So yeah, hope you like it. Alright guys, so what you're looking at is the uh, densitometer. Uh, it's a model of GS800 calibrated densitometer. It's a product of BioRed. So first of all, you have to have a you know a computer attached to it. So you have to on the computer first, and you know, start the, the machine. So the machine will warm up, come with some noise, and yeah, so it warm up a little bit. All right, guys. So the machine is has warmed up. So what you do is you lift the cover and you have this little hinge thing so you have to pull out the hinge to, uh, to, to make it like a set so what you're going to do here you have to pour a little bit of water on the surface so that when you put your gel you will just stick on it and uh, and you can't do anything else so so after this uh, I'm going to put my gel because it's going to be very hard if I'm uh, using only one hand so yeah gonna come back again after I set the gel all right guys so I just put my gel on top of it so a little bit of trick a little bit of a tips here so what you do if you can just put the towel the dry towel to absorb some of the water what we're going to do is it will just sort of uh, make the gel stuck onto the surface to create an absolute flat surface Put on the surface, I mean on the side, and you will just suck onto the on the glass. So it doesn't matter the bubble or whatever. So once you have this done, uh, you can uh, once you have this done, we can move on to the uh, software part. All right, guys. So you need to have your uh, software installed. In this case, we are using the Quantity One. I believe you can download it uh, online as well. So you just switch to basic. And uh, go to select scanner. So which scanner we're using? Our model is GS800, GS so we can select this one. So we come to this interface. So the gel we're gonna select. Uh, it's already pre-select gel quasi blue filter we're gonna use red and what you do here is uh, you're gonna start with preview scan so what it does is it will just scan one time so the whole glass plate will be scanned so you have like only one gel in the middle and uh, the rest of it just like empty so uh, after that I'm gonna show you what's the next step alright guys uh, so uh, the image will just show up like that. As I mentioned, you have a gel in the middle and the rest are just empty. So what you're gonna do here, you uh, you can see this little bar here. It will automatically appear after you do the preview scan. So when you do it, you have to place it. Just nice. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, actually my gel is kind of a, uh, I would say, uh, inverted. But uh, that's something we can do about it later. We can just flip it back. So. Once you have the bracket placed on the gel, you can click Acquire. So what you do is, you will just select that particular box and then we just scan again. So it just give us that gel only. So with that thing, we can just you know, move on and save it later. Alright guys, once you press the Acquire, uh, it's actually will have this window come up. So if you have a printer that you want to print right away, you can just go, go ahead and print it. But I do not have it. I just want to save a soft copy. What you can do is just press cancel. After you press cancel, uh, the process of acquiring that particular image will carry on. So,
you can see, you just scan that particular gel. And you will stop. So then you have it. You will just the, the scan video, the scan uh, photo will just jump out. So what you do is you can press this little bar here, just under the match. And just press this, and here you can just adjust the uh, intensity of this um, of the of the of the of the of the, I mean, of the image and the darker. Usually we just put around three seven, uh, three thousand seven hundred will be fine. So just go ahead and click OK. So how to flip this over? Go to image and rotate or not rotate, just vertical flip. So just flip vertical as you ready to flip, say continue, and you have it. So after this, after this, you can just go ahead and save as. So if you put this save as, it will give you the uh, the whole file. So we have the extension of SC. If you don't know what kind of file is that. See this? You give it SC. But go ahead and save it. So what you do is, if you want to have the JPEG video, you have to go to JPEG. Press the JPEG. It will ask you the quality. Just pump it up to hundred percent. You can press export. It's gonna give you the same name, same name that you have just now. So you just go ahead and save it. And uh, go to uh, go to the outside. Go to my boss. You just see it. And this one. So. Okay, let's see. Okay, kind of forgot which one is the latest. And this one here. There you have it. So, uh, yeah. By this, uh, I will end the video here. So, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to ask more questions about this, you can just drop me down in the comment. And I will see you on the next video.